Hello and welcome to the channel. Today what we're going to talk about is a new feature added to the August 2021 release of Power Automate Desktop called Get Active Cell in Microsoft Excel using Power Automate Desktop. Let's go. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about why this episode is important. So whenever you have dynamic spreadsheets, it may be difficult to determine which is your active cell. So for example, you might have a macro that's doing inserts, updates, moving columns, things of that nature. And you may want to ensure you're on the right cell before you go ahead and further pro process a document. And so that's exactly what this feature will do for us. Um, it is called Get Active Cell in Microsoft Excel and it will return the cells coordinates that we can subsequently use to go ahead and read the value from the spreadsheet itself. So where you're gonna find this new feature is this action. If you go ahead and into Power Automate Desktop, go to the Actions pane, go ahead and search for Excel, then look at the bottom, Get Active Cell on Excel Worksheet, and you can go ahead and drag that onto your desktop flow. So let's go ahead, let's see this in action, let's see the full demo and see what this is all about. Okay, so first thing, let's take a look at our spreadsheet. This is the same spreadsheet that I had used in a previous video, I guess it was last week, around find and replace. Uh, so I'm just gonna go ahead and repurpose it. Now what I've got here is just to simulate, you know, what a person might typically deal with with the randomization of an active cell is I've just gone ahead and created a macro. This macro is just gonna go ahead and select a random cell from this range itself. And so what I'm gonna do in Power Automate Desktop is go ahead and call this macro before I actually run the action to find the active cell. Now, how did I go ahead and do this? Um, I'm in the developer tab, so you have to ensure that that's enabled. Then I can go ahead and click on Visual Basic and what I do have here is just a little function where I can go ahead and uh, just clear any formats, provide a range, so that D, so column D, row 2 to 32. And then all we're going to do is just use this random function that between 1 and 32, go ahead and select that specific value itself. I guess technically this should probably be 2 to sort of ignore the header itself. So that's going to select a uh, essentially a random cell from that perspective and then that becomes the active cell and then we can go ahead and extract the coordinates. Okay, I've now gone ahead and launched Power Automate Desktop. As mentioned before, we've got the get active cell on Excel worksheet over here and we're going to use that as our third step. But before we do so, we need to go ahead and launch an Excel file. Now in this case, I am launching an Excel file that has a macro enabled, and really that macro is the one I just showed you where I wanna be able to randomly select uh, a cell. That's just to demonstrate that how this feature works, and actually you wouldn't go ahead and implement that um, if you didn't need to. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is run that Excel macro. So once again, this would be an optional step just for demo purposes. Um, this is the name of the macro I just showed you, so I just need to copy that from Excel paste it into here in the macro field, reference the Excel instance that we previously opened, and then we're good from that perspective. So here's the, the sort of the star of the show today. This is the action we wanna talk about. So once again, need to refer to the Excel instance that was launched initially. And then what happens is these are two output variables that are going to be returned to us when this runs. And so we can rename these if we want. I've just gone ahead and you know kept the defaults, but it's going to return the column index, and then it's also going to return the row index um, for that active cell itself. Now we can use these values downstream to go ahead and read that specific data, and that's what we're gonna do right here. The next step, read from Excel worksheet. Uh, whenever we use this, action we can go ahead and choose you know whether or not we want a single cell or if we want a range of cells in our case we're just interested in a single cell then we're going to use these values that were returned from our previous call so we're going to start with our column index and then we're going to include our row index as well and then once again this is going to retrieve 
a, a value, the value of that specific cell. And I've just gone ahead and you know called this output variable active cell value. Um, so obviously you can call that whatever you want. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna display this data. This is just for debugging purposes where I will show the active index for the column, the active index for the row, and then we're gonna show the value itself. So let's go ahead and let's run this. Okay, so what we can see is that our active column is four, our row is nine, and as a result, our value is 8,000. So let's go ahead and let's just run this again just to make sure that it is working um, you know, across multiple iterations. Okay, here we can see that we've got column four, row 15, and the value of 14,000. And so, yeah, that just, you know, demonstrates how we can, you know, get the active cell when we've got dynamic data um, that is basically being manipulated inside of our spreadsheet. All right, so thanks for checking out another video on the channel. If you're not following me on Twitter, go ahead and find me at Weirzy. Naturally, we're on YouTube already, but go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Those are always appreciated to help with the YouTube algorithm. So thanks again for checking out this video, and we'll see you next week. Take care.